Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Cassie J. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys an Amazon haul. I have a little bit of everything. Some stuff for the guys, some stuff for the kids, some stuff for myself. Before we get started, I just wanna apologize if you hear any background noise. I am extremely hot. It is very hot out today, and I had to turn my air conditioner off so that it wasn't affecting the sound, but I do have my door open. So if you hear any kids outside playing or cars driving by, that is why it is just way too hot to have the door closed. So with all of that said, let me show you what I got from Amazon. So we can start off by showing you my outfit of the day. As usual, I am all girly girled out today. I got my little hair bow that I got from Dollar Tree. My little rose earrings that I got from Five Below. My pearl necklace is vintage and my pearl bracelet is actually from the party store down the road. So I probably won't be able to link that. My whole outfit is from Shein. My top is like this cute little pink ribbed top with the scalloped edges and then the really cute tool and lace detailed puff sleeves. I love it. Now, my skirt is also from Shein. This is from the Gabby DiMartino collection. It's so cute. It's got the little flowers on it and it's got the little tool overlay. Very cute. It's got the pink waistband, which I do believe you can also get it with the white waistband. And then the waistband's got the cute little scalloped edges. I don't have on a whole lot of makeup. It's just way too hot outside. I do have on brows, mascara, blush, and lips. The brows is just the regular twist up pencil from ABH. And then I have on a um, brow gel from Ardell that I got at Dollar Tree over top of that. The mascara is um, Lash Princess from Essence. The blush is a combination of two different ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blushes. It's a birthday suit in between the sheets. So I just kind of mix those and put that on. And then my lipstick is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And that's all that I have on for makeup. So everything that I'm wearing that I can link down below, I will. And so with all of that out of the way, let's get started with this haul. So, like I said, this is just a random bunch of stuff. There's not a specific category. It's just stuff that we have gotten over the last couple of months that I'd like to share with you guys. So, first, hmm, what do I want to share first? All right, so first I will share this little pink Himalayan salt lamp. It does light up. It's got like five different colors, I want to say. I just like the, the regular like yellow light color because it looks so pretty. And then it's got like this wooden base. It does come with the little charging thing. You just plug it into a charging box. It's really cute and it's super heavy. It's about the size, maybe a little bit taller than a can of pop, but it's super heavy. It's really cute. It's cute for the bathroom. That's what I got this for is for the bathroom. And while we're on the topic of the bathroom, I can show you guys these floating shelves. I've mentioned on past videos that we're in the middle of renovating our bathroom. It's taking a lot longer than expected, but I did buy these shelves for the bathroom. It comes with four of them, but I don't know what I did with the other one. I think I took it out to show somebody and I set it somewhere and don't know where it's at, but yeah, it's just four floating shelves. They're super duper lightweight. The other one is a little bit smaller than this one, so they're um, four different sizes, but yeah, I just thought they were super cute, very inexpensive, and I like the floating look. I thought it'd be super cute with like a green hanging plant, you know, the kind that like drape. I thought that would be cute with one of those on there with like some little miniature apothecary jars with like some bath salts and bath bath bombs. I thought that would be super, super cute. So I got those. And then the last thing that I got for the bathroom is this shower head right here. It is from Yasfel. And I just want to thank Yasfel so much for working with me on this portion of today's video. They were kind enough to send me this shower head. I have to say it came at the perfect time because it came right when we were in the middle of renovating our bathroom. And we actually didn't intend on replacing the shower head because we just replaced it not that long ago. And Corey actually didn't want to replace it at all. And until after he used this one, now he's completely obsessed. This is probably the best shower head that I've ever used. And I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. Like I genuinely mean that this is the best shower head that I've ever used. It has seven settings. So I've never had a shower head with seven settings. I think the most that I've ever had was five. So it comes with seven different settings including one that you can just stop the water from coming out rather than having to like turn the whole shower off and then having to turn it back on and readjust the water and everything. You can just click it over to the mode that stops the water from coming out. If you need to like shave your legs or you want to let your conditioner sit in for a minute or something, 
um, you can just do that and then just click it back when you want the water to come back out. It's a five inch shower head, so it's pretty big. I'd say it's like this big around. It's a five inch shower head with a 60 inch hose, so you have lots of maneuver maneuverability, maneuver maneuverability is that a word well it is now you can maneuver a lot with the hose because it's so long it is a high pressure shower head so it feels really good like you're getting a massage and you can get them in two different options you can get it in chrome or brushed nickel we did get it in chrome i almost wish now that i would have got it in brushed nickel just because i like the aesthetic a little bit more but the chrome is fine too it's so pretty um it's very lightweight too so it, if you are using it as a handheld it doesn't get like uncomfortable or heavy in your hands and it's super duper easy to install i installed it all by myself and i installed it with literally one hand because i was filming the installation with the other hand so i will insert that footage right here but yes, I installed it maybe within five minutes using one hand. So it's super duper easy to install, super lightweight. It is a high powered five inch shower head with a 60 inch hose, totally worth it. It's already super inexpensive, but if you guys are interested, I will link it down below with a coupon code and I will also put the coupon code right here. And thanks again to Yasfel for working with me on this portion of today's video. Okay, so moving on, I think that was all the stuff that we got for the bathroom. Now we'll move into some dude stuff. A lot of it I don't have physically in here with me because um, a lot of it is for the garage and that's Corey's domain. He's actually out there working right now, so I'm not going to go bug him. But so he got this power tool organizer right here that I think is super duper cool because he does have several drills. This is really neat for you to be able to hang your drills on with the battery pack and then it's got like a little section that you can put the battery pack on and then it's got the little basket on top that you can put um tape measures or whatever else you need to put on the top and then it's got the little things on the side that you can organize your screwdrivers in they do have a slightly cheaper option that is almost the same thing except for the drills go in the other way as opposed to being like upside down they go in front facing and then it doesn't have the basket on the top but it does have like a shelf so you can still set stuff up there but i think I think it's like a five dollar difference we also got this sports equipment like storage crate thing for um different sports balls kyler does have a ton of different sports balls he's got a ton of basketballs for one because he does play basketball for his school but he's also got like soccer balls and different football things like that so we really really needed one of these very handy and before we literally just had like all of our sports balls piled up into one corner. So this is perfect for that. It's easy for them to get in and out of. I honestly don't remember if it has like the bungee cord things. I don't know why I can't remember. You know what I'm talking about where like the sides of the crate are just bungee cords so that you can just like reach in and grab it. I do think it does have that. And then along the same lines as the sports equipment organizing, we also got this which is also supposed to be for like sports balls and other things. We don't use it for sports balls because we have the crate, but we do have like a ton of outdoor toys. We have um, like Frisbees and then like um, their chalk bins are also out there, like the little tennis racket things and the little Dollar Tree toys, you know, throw the ball and catch it type thing. And then the little mitt thing that you throw the ball and it sticks. We got all kinds of outdoor toys anyway. So that's what we use that one for. Um, they do have like a taller option and then one that has more like shelving to it but this was the cheapest option that we could find for one and for two it worked out perfectly for what we needed it for and then this little thing i thought was so nifty i got this for myself but i also got one for corey that i'll show you guys in just a minute it is a battery organizer there's not very many batteries in it now but there it was full at one point but there is tons of space in here for batteries. I probably won't ever fill this up, but it's got space for every single size battery, including um, watch batteries. Open it up for you. It just opens up like this. And then it's got this little section right here. You just can open it like that and you can put like your smaller little watch batteries in there. And then it also comes with this um, battery tester. You can test any battery on here. You just slide this down, put the battery in and close it. And then it'll tell you here if it's like dead, if it's like really good or if it's still good, but not like a full battery. And then it also has the back side. These ones you like set in there that way. And then this way you can just lay them flat. And then this side is also just for double A's, I do believe. Yeah, 
So this side is just for double A's, but that's just extra space. And then it even has them in the handle up here too. It has it like that on the other side too. So literally you can put batteries in the entire thing. Very sturdy. I've been wanting one for a long time because we always have batteries just floating around everywhere. We never know if they're good or not. And then we always need to find batteries. So this is just perfect. I, this has probably gotten into every single day since we've had it. And then I also got this one for Corey for him to keep out in the garage. This one's just a little bit different because he can hang it it could be mounted to the wall but it also has like the little um, battery tester and then the um, storage space for the batteries so we got that one and I think that's everything that I got that I don't like physically have in here to show you so everything else I have here with me and the rest is like funsy kind of stuff so the next thing that I got is this Bluetooth microphone this is very well loved it's beaten and abused but this is just a Bluetooth microphone um, you can Bluetooth your phone to it or whatever and you can sing karaoke on it or you can use it for whatever else you don't have to use it for karaoke um if you just wanted to turn it on i would do it right now but i don't wanna maybe i'll try it clicks like that if you hear if you could hear the noise and then you can talk into it like this so it doesn't technically have to be for music like if you're having a gathering and you need to make a speech or something you can use it for that it also has this echo mode that doesn't ever get used i don't know what anybody would use it for but it does have that option if you wanted to use that and it sounds like this with an echo i don't know if you guys can hear it but yeah so this is just a fun little gadget i use this probably more than anyone because i love to sing so I just put my music on, I put my music on my phone, Bluetooth it here, and then I just sing along with it. And then it's got like a um, speaker right here. And then it's just, you can charge it with an Android charger or it's got the plug that you can just plug it right into the wall. So that's that fun little thing. Um, a little update on my last Amazon haul. I don't think it was an Amazon haul video. I think it was maybe a City Trends video. But I did some Amazon finds at the end of that video, and one of the things that um, was in it was the controller that we had gotten for Kyler for his Switch, and I said that I would update you guys on how well that worked. Um, it didn't. It kind of um, sounded like there was something loose floating around in there, but he complained about stick drift like immediately, like the very first time he played it, he complained of stick drift. So we actually returned that one for a replacement of the same thing. And it was the same thing with that. You, if you shook the controller, you could hear like a piece inside that sounded like something was loose in there. And then he had issues with stick drift right away also. So we returned that completely and just got a full refund. And then we ordered this one. First of all, aesthetically, this one is way cute cuter than the last one. The last one I think was like black and red and this one's like white with the sky blue details on it. Not that it matters but it is cuter. Um, but we've had this one for probably over a month now and it's worked perfectly. He hasn't had any issues with it. You can plug it in. It has the C-type charger. You can plug it in and use it that way or you can just charge it and use it like that. The only thing is that he does complain about with this is that you can't connect headphones to it so he isn't able to like play with his buddies online when he uses this. But yeah, it was super inexpensive. I want to say it was like 15 maybe even $16. For some reason I think it was maybe $16. So yeah, so in case you guys are looking for a controller for, I think this is compatible for like anything. It, it, it lists like all the things that you can use it for, like the Switch, the Xbox. So it, there are different uses for it, but he uses his for the Switch. So little update on that. Oh, I will show you guys this. This is what I got my dad for Father's Day. I obviously don't have it with me because I sent it to him. My dad plays guitar. He's played guitar my entire life. He's very good at it too and he makes his own music. He's made music my entire life and most of his life as well. Um, he just came out with his first album. It's called Side of the Highway. I will link it down below for you guys if you guys want to go and show some support to him. I'm sure that would mean a lot to him and it would also mean a lot to me too. But yeah, so I got him this for Father's Day and it's a a guitar pick holder that is shaped like a guitar and you can have it customized with an engraving on the front of the box and then when you take the lid off there's three picks inside that you can also get engraved and it's only $19.99 for the whole thing there's no extra charge for customizing it it's very good quality super cool it's like a wooden box and it's decent size too 
Um, and the picks are just like a standard size. Those are also wooden. So you can get the box engraved and the picks engraved for $19.99 or for just $21.99, you can actually have a custom picture put on the front of the box. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was super cool and super inexpensive for anybody that loves guitar. It's just like the neatest gift. But yeah, like I said, I will link his new album down below if you guys want to check it out and show some support. And then the last two things that I have to show you guys are Bluetooth speakers. These are both Acacias. This one we got for her, I wanna say for Christmas maybe, um, but it's this bigger one. And then it's got different color lights. The speaker's right here on the top. And then it's got all the buttons right here under this little flap thing. So it's got like your on and off switch and then the little um, port to be able to plug it in. You can plug it right into the wall or you can charge it. And then it changes different colors. You could have it on one solid color if you want to, or you can have the color change with the beat of the music. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is from Be Iconic. And then this one is just a smaller one. She likes to carry this one around with her when she goes on a walk. But it's just the smaller speaker. And then it's got like the buttons on the top. And it's got all the stuff on the back. It's got the on off switch and the little port to be able to plug it in. It's got an aux cord. And then it's got the Android charger thing. And then it's got the USB port for that. And then I don't know what TF is, but that's what that is. This one has that little TF slot too. I'm not sure what that's for. This one doesn't light up or anything. I think maybe um, there's like a blue, a small blue light somewhere that comes out, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's just your standard, a little regular inexpensive speaker. I wanna say this was about $15. Um, this exact one, and I'm not sure if this exact one is um, available either because I got them so long ago, but I will link very similar ones um, around the same price point down below. But yeah, so that is official everything that I've gotten from Amazon that I wanted to share with you guys. Cassie from the future here. I just wanted to jump on here really quickly. I just wanted to throw in a couple of extra things right here because it's not enough for a whole nother haul. But I did want to go ahead and throw in Acacia's um, birthday gifts. Her birthday is this month. So she went to Alta and Sephora and got her birthday gifts. So from Alta, she got the Lash Adol Mascara. That's what that looks like. Very unique one. And then from Sephora, she got the Sol de Janeiro. She got the Boom Boom Cream. And then what is that, the Coco Cabana? Yeah, Coco Cabana Cream. So she got a trial size of each one of those. I will leave Acacia's Cash App linked down below in case any of you guys want to get her a birthday gift. We'll just get back to the rest of the video. If you guys enjoy Amazon hauls like these, or if you want like a specific Amazon haul, like maybe a girly Amazon haul or like a girly pink Amazon finds, or like a beauty Amazon haul. I actually have a list saved in my Amazon that's all different beauty items that for one are so aesthetically pleasing. Like Amazon has some of the prettiest packaging when it comes to like their makeup and it's brands that I've never heard of. They're all like Amazon store brands, but I always thought that that would be pretty interesting to film like a beauty haul of different Amazon cosmetics. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I'll definitely do that for you. Hopefully I can get this up for you today. I haven't uploaded a video in so long because I have a very long Ulta Beauty and Gratis haul and for some reason having issues exporting it. Like the whole video is done. I'm done editing it, done filming it, done got all the items put away in their rightful places and I'm having issues exporting it. So that is why I haven't uploaded in so long because I've been trying so hard to figure out why I cannot export the video. So hopefully I can get that one up for you guys pretty soon, but I wanted to do this one just so I could have something to put up for you guys. So if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more Amazon hauls, or if you like just hauls in general or anything related to vintage or antiques or anything girly and beauty related, let me know, I film it all. I pretty much do a little bit of everything for everyone here. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already, I would love to have you. And so with all of that said, I will see you guys very, very soon in a new video. Bye. And it is super duper easy to extol. Extol. So with all of that being said, let me sh What is it?
the blush is two different color pop super shock cheek chat that is a mouthful the blush is so he got this power tool organizer which i just crash rocket thank you so he got this give this video a thumbs up and good god cow